Wow. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking sesame oil chicken miso or flour michili. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to do a simple seasoning on the chicken. I have with me over here 700 grams of chicken or chicken leg. I've separated out the thigh from the drumstick and I've made a few cuts over here so that the salt can actually season it better. I'll be adding in one and a half teaspoon of salt. Just use your hand to massage the salt in. So once you're done, I'll show you how to cook this dish. Now we are going to fry the ginger first. Heat up a wok, add in two tablespoons of sesame oil. I'm using medium to medium low heat over here. I don't want to burn the ginger, I just want to extract as much of the aroma as possible. 50 grams of old ginger, sliced. Slowly pan fry them until fragrant. Now if the pan gets too hot, turn down the heat because sesame oil burns pretty fast. So we don't want to burn this, otherwise it will become bitter. This dish is actually very, very famous in Taiwan. Mai Yu Ti Mian Xian. It's a comfort dish for a lot of people. You just need to pan fry this until we can smell the aroma of the ginger. And then we'll add in our chicken. Once the ginger has started to brown on the sides, we'll remove them from the heat. But just put them aside, don't throw them away. We'll be using this later. Using the same oil, we'll add in our chicken, skin side down. We want to brown the skin a little and extract out a little bit of the chicken oil so that the soup will be more fragrant. Don't move them, just leave them for a while. Using medium to medium low heat. Be careful not to burn them. So do check now and then to make sure that the skin is not burnt. If you do not cook often, I will always advise you to use medium to medium low heat while you are cooking because then it's easier for you to control the doneness of the meat or vegetables or seafood that you are cooking and you will not burn them easily. Let's check the chicken. Right, they're brown a little bit, so this is pretty all right. So I'll just turn to the other side and pan fry them for another two to three minutes. If you want to cut your chicken into smaller pieces, by all means do so. But we love it to be a little bit chunkier, easier for us to serve also. Let's give the chicken a check. Now once you see the meat has turned white like this, on the outside, we'll add back in our ginger. Just spread them around. We will now add in 500 milliliters of rice wine, Chinese rice wine. For home, I will suggest before you pour the wine in, turn down the heat a little, otherwise you might see some flame coming out. Now, in the event, if you see flame rising up from the wine, do not worry, just cover it up. Okay, and it will be done. Okay, now we will turn the heat up to evaporate the alcohol. If you do not have Rice wine then, by all means, you don't have to put it. we we'll wait for the rice wine to come to a complete boil before we add in our chicken stock. We'll add in our chicken stock now. I'm adding 1.5 liters of chicken stock. If you do not have chicken stock, you can always add water plus chicken stock powder or chicken stock cube to make it more flavorful. we we'll wait for this to come to a boil. Once the soup is boiling, we'll add in our button mushroom. This is one can of button mushroom Drink weight approximately 140 to 150 grams. Just put them in. We will now put the lid on, turn the heat down to low and let it simmer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes is up, let's have a look. Oh, smells really good. We need to balance the taste up a little bit. I'll add in half a teaspoon of sugar. And to increase the aroma of this dish, I'll be adding in two tablespoons of sesame oil. Wow, immediately you can smell the beautiful fragrance coming out from the sesame oil. Now we'll turn the heat off. I would like to cook my noodles individually and I'll show you how I'm doing this. First, we'll separate the soup into one person portion into a small pot like this and we'll let the soup come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll add in our flour vermicelli. Just one bunch of it. We just need to cook this until it's soft. Now as you were to notice just now, I did not add in any salt to my soup 
Basically, it's because I've already sorted the chicken and flour vermicelli also contains some salt. So do give it a taste before you serve it to make sure that it is salty enough to your liking. Once you have added in the flour vermicelli, you can add in some wolf berries. Just a few pieces of this will be fine. Do not cook the wolf berry for too long because otherwise your soup will turn sourish. And also, once the vermicelli is soft like this, we can actually serve it now. Let's enjoy our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Smells awesome. Let's try the chicken first. Mm. Very nice aroma, very tender. Let's give the soup a taste. Wow. This dish is very easy to cook and it's very, very flavorful. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.